Australia Day. The day where you support your country by buying from China. <laughs> Hopefully you're having a bit of fun. You're having some lamingtons, maybe your mum's casserole. Who knows, maybe even a gay time. Yep, it's Australian. So what we're gonna talk about today is websites. And oh, it's too hot in Australia to be wearing that. Who does that? Anyway, we're gonna be talking about websites and why building a website isn't just a once-off activity. And a lot of business owners, they build this website and they think, oh, okay, it's made, it's done, and it's finished. They think of it kind of like a book. But the problem is, it isn't like a book. It's more like a car. When you make a car, sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't. If you get it serviced regularly, it will continue to work really well. If you don't, it might not. It might, but it might not. And eventually, something's gonna crash, something's gonna go wrong, something's gonna break down. For your website, if it's any of the modern websites that are around, such as Joomla, Drupal, WordPress, etc., all these different types of sites, there is thousands of files that they rely upon being updated and kept secure. If you're not updating your website, you are responsible. Having said that, I'll give you this analogy. A website sits on a server in the cloud. The cloud or a server in the cloud is kind of like you have someone that you're renting a property off. So you have this property, which is awesome, and you're renting it and it's nice and secure. It's got crim safe, it's got dead bolts, no one's getting into this property unless you give them the key. And that's one of the problems. If you give them the password, or the key in this case, you may be letting them into your business or your website, and if they save that in their browser and their computer gets infected, you could be up shit creek. So don't give out your passwords. That, that's a big one, especially for things as important as your website and any online presence. Now, back to the analogy. If you've got a landlord, awesome locks, everything's looking great. You move in and you put all your stuff in there. So your TV, your lounge, all your, all your kit and caboodle. Everything moves into this house and you keep the door locked. Awesome, no one's gonna take your stuff. If you leave the front door open, and by that, or the back door open, is a funny pun, uh, to intruders, they can jump in and knock off your stuff, deface your website, and what's worse is they can actually pipe traffic through your site, giving you a very big bill with your hosting provider or a slap on the wrist where they may ban you from using their service, or you might get the federal police contacting you because you're trying to be a different site that you're not meant to be. For instance, we've seen people's websites that have been Westpac Bank, NAB, Commonwealth Bank, PayPal, all these different big brands and their website's been defaced. They've pumped tens of thousands of visitors through asking them for credit card details. People have entered them. Now, because you're negligent, does not mean that the activity that you're doing was not fraudulent. You need to keep on top of it. If you're not paying for updates to your site, you are at a huge risk. Public embarrassment with your site going down and not having emails is just the, the tip of the iceberg. You need to really make sure you're on top of it. Don't wanna scare anyone, but if you don't have your back door open, you'll make sure that you're not gonna have any intruders coming to your back door. And this comes to the next point. Most web hosting providers are not actually giving you the whole server. It costs them way too much. A good example would be one of our servers costs us $1,300 a month to have maintained power, dual internet connections as a minimum, backup power as a minimum, the actual rack space that we have to have in Melbourne, Brisbane and Sydney. All this costs a lot of money. If you're paying five or six or $10, that means for them to make no money and break even, at $1,300, they have to have 130 people just like you on their site at $10 a month for them to break even. Hopefully they wanna make some money. So they're gonna be having more than that. That means that you've got 130 other people that you're sharing resources with. If you're sharing those resources and they get hacked, Chances are if you've gone with a reputable host for your website, you won't have a problem and your site won't get hacked. But it might slow down your site 
or it might put you on a blacklist or something like that. So you wanna make sure that you're with someone who ideally isn't sharing as much as that. If your host is only paying $200 or $300 for their hosting, and then they're on charging you at five or $10, you might go, oh cool, I'm only sharing it with 30 to 60 people. And that's true, you are. But the type of infrastructure that you're on won't be very good. That is not gonna give you great speeds. Something to think about with your hosting. Stay good.